Hello boys and girls, welcome to another art class. Before I start, I would like to share a Bible verse with you. Finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. Philippians chapter 4 verse 8. So this week, as you encounter online school, you might be a little frustrated. Then I want you to think about what is excellent and praiseworthy at that moment. Look around, pause, and think. Because we always encounter different things and there's always something good that is happening in the midst of difficulties. So look for those this week. Let's take a look at some of the work that we received from last class. Here we have Leanne's picture. Leanne did a really excellent job in creating her composition. She created the um, pirate boat as well as the raft. And can you see the hot air balloon in the air? She used a lot of nice warm and cool color to complement each other. And the boats are all balanced within the picture. There isn't a really big empty gap. So great job, Leanne. Here we have Kelly's picture. Now what I really enjoy um, about Kelly's picture is that it reminds me of the Cross Harbor boat that we see uh, going from T uh, TST to Central because of the color theme. So I really just really makes me um, feel that you're looking around and paying attention to your surrounding as you create art. Great job. Here we have um, Isaac's picture. Now what I really enjoy about Isaac's picture is his background. It really speaks loud and clear with the horizon. Like, you know, whether it's a, it looks like it's a sunset because it's purple, red, and yellow. Um, so it, I can really kind of look in the distance and see the sun going down. So really great atmosphere here. Good job, Isaac. Now I want to show you how far you have come. So you started out with drawing uh, some fishing boats. Uh, this is Hannah's picture. And then you started, and then after the fishing boat, you did uh, the pirate boat, the raft, and the lighthouse. And then finally, you created a fleet of boats in your composition with all that you have learned that shows the different, pro just shows the proportion and the distance and the depth in the composition. So good job, everybody. You have finished this unit. So to celebrate, I'm going to give you a very fun and short activity to do this week. You're going to be working on a tangram. You might have used this before in math, but we're going to use it in an art way. So you have um, a link on the seesaw uh, activity that you can download. There's a worksheet with the tangram template. Um, you will be able to cut it out. You can color it in. I have included a very small demonstration for you. Uh, to follow along. If you have any question, please send me an email. For the Tangram activity, you are going to need to print out one of the PDF file that is in the Seesaw link. Once you have printed it out, you are going to cut out the Tangram. Once you have cut out all the pieces, just like this, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, you should have seven pieces. Then you can start building different objects with it. Let me show you what I have in mind.
Ta-da! Can you see what this is? That's right, it's a plane. Now, I have printed on a piece of green paper, which is great if you have access to green paper, but if you don't, not to worry. If you only printed on white paper, that is also okay because you can color the tangram. Let's see if you know what I'm going to make next. Can you see what this is? That's right, it's a bird. If you would really like to try different things and you really like this picture, but you want to build something else, you can take a piece of blank paper and some crayons like this. Hold it down and use the side of your crayons and make a rubbing. You have to hold it really tight because you do not want the tangram to shift on you. Now you might need your parents to help you with this if you cannot manage because your hands are not as big as mine. Ta-da! There is a rubbing of the bird. Again, if you have any question, please feel free to send me an email. And at the end of this activity, you can send me a picture of your favorite creation. Have a great week.